the sanctuary at Two Rivers is as far away and as isolated from city life as you can possibly get. This is exactly where I needed to be for this kind of training. And you know, you're literally at the fork of two rivers. You can hear the waterfalls in the background. You can hear the rivers flowing. You can smell the jungle air, feel the breeze, see the trees flowing in the wind. Um, it's paradise. Uh, as far as our accommodations, our casitas where we sleep at night, um, they are outside. Um, they are beautiful, they're modern, they're zen. I've never showered outside before and just feel like I am showering underneath a tree and just completely comfortable outside in the wilderness. It's amazing. Uh, the Yoga Pagoda is just an absolutely amazing place to practice yoga um, facing east every morning, uh, you know, rising with the sun. The puja room for meditation uh, really allows you to just find comfort and peace and calm. I love meditating in the puja room. I did so this morning and every morning that I'm here uh, during twilight before the sun rises. So, you know, getting into that meditative state here is just so much easier. You know, when I try and meditate at home, I am constantly being distracted by city noise and city life. And I'm always peeking my eye open and looking at what time it is and how much time I have left. But in the jungle, I could stay in meditation for hours, it seems. Um, so it's a deeply meditative place, not just in the puja room, but all around the jungle. Uh, every day, you know, you never know if you're going to see a monkey or a beautiful blue butterfly or just teeny tiny little creatures working away gathering their own nourishment uh, it's a lot of fun here and it's it's a simple kind of fun so i think the first thing you notice when you get dropped at the edge of the jungle by your shuttle you put on your water shoes and you start your trek through the first of four river crossings and something happens to you immediately. So you begin to connect with nature and that's part of the process here at the sanctuary. We don't have that most of us where we live. Pretty much, even if you live in a remote place before you get here, it won't be as remote as this. And we are a part of nature. So as soon as we enter into this deep jungle, we begin to connect and all of the technology and cement and cars and all of the things that bombard us in that environment just begin to fade away and fall away. So nature is such a huge part of the experience here at the sanctuary. They're an eco village, they're off the grid, 100% solar powered. So you're more mindful about the energy you use here too because you recognize that it's precious. The water here is the most healthy, delicious water. The air is so clean and the animals live here with us. So you have howler monkeys and capuchins and you have these iguana type animals. I've forgotten their name, but they're incredible and snakes and spiders and bats. And you don't feel threatened. You feel like you're blessed to be harmonizing in their environment. And then with the you know, potent prana infused food, all of that together, you probably will feel the most alive, the most present and grounded you have ever felt. So the sanctuary grounds are definitely a huge part of coming here. Um, there's something about this place that is that is really magical. Um, I think just the connection with all of the land and living um, in the casitas is it feels like you are truly part of nature and and it helps you to recognize how much we are part of nature and it's really hard to find that elsewhere. Um, you really get to 
experience all of this jungle energy and hearing all the animal sounds and just walking around seeing the different plants and the different animals and um, through meditation listening to all the sounds going on around you um, it's really incredible and everything is so alive and you just feel so part of it all um, part of the nature and the universe and it really goes along with the teachings that we're learning. The casitas are um, so wonderful in, in the way that you're so connected to nature and they're, they're simple but they're, they're glamorous as well and they're, um, you feel very luxurious staying in them but it's also um, just so connected with nature and sleeping to the sounds of the jungle and showering amongst the jungle and um, yeah it feels it, it definitely makes me think about how simple you can live and feel so fulfilled in um, in yeah living in in the casitas and and being amongst nature but also having your own little sacred space and all of the natural materials and um, yeah it's really beautiful and unlike anything that I've stayed in before. Uh, the Yoga Pagoda and the Puja Room are definitely two of my favorite places in the whole world. <laughs> um, just practicing there is so incredible when you're seeing monkeys go by, you're seeing hummingbirds, you're having the breeze flowing through, um, the rainstorms happening. It's just very powerful and very magical. You definitely feel that energy of the jungle around you, um, the sunrises and the sunsets while you're practicing are incredible and the puja room just feels very sacred and, and beautiful and um, just with the open screened walls or the open walls feeling that breeze and um, yeah all of the jungle sounds around are definitely part of the experience. The sanctuary at Two Rivers is a hidden gem of gems out here in the middle of the jungle in Costa Rica, surrounded by such lush vegetation and animals that I've never seen before and birds that sing songs all night and day long. Truly a magical and special place that really enhances your experience here. There not being really much distraction, you know, in, from the outside world. There's no cars driving by and and lights and people and we're we're out here in the jungle. The purest air that I've ever breathed in my life sacred waterfalls and rivers truly a place that it really enhances the experience here because there is no distraction there's there's no streets and cars and random people and pollution and noise it's we're in harmony with the nature around us it's truly a, a so special to be able to walk up to the pagoda at five o'clock in the morning when it's dark out and sit in the pagoda and the puja room as the sun is rising doing our morning meditation such an enriching experience the pagoda is i wouldn't want to practice asana and learn about yoga in any other place there's no walls there's no mirrors it's it's almost as if the pagoda is just right there in the jungle other than the the wooden structure that you can see which was really fascinating to me to be able to see the structure of the building and how it was all constructed and the intention behind how the wood grain is facing and the placement of everything and it being like an open aired space that just allowed for this prana to circulate throughout the entire space the tropical modern Zen casitas were, were very fascinating to me to, to be able to like look at the structure and see how it was how it was constructed and what's holding it together and 
it's it's screened in so there's no there's no wall there are some walls but you can really like lying in bed you can see the trees and the and the stars and the monkeys and it allows for there to be moving air and allowing our consciousness to be able to not have any restriction. The tropical modern Zen design of the casitas allowed the, the nervous system to equalize and find that harmony within the surrounding environment. The open air structure allowed for the the breeze and the air to move through the space really allowing me to be able to find tranquility during my time in the casita and allowing for a very peaceful space to study and to read and to get a really great night's sleep so that we could feel recharged and restored to invest nine hours of our energy learning about all these mind-blowing, fascinating topics and philosophies.